welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm super excited for. I'm going to be doing two different makeup tutorials with the Sanrio My Melody and Karomi Wet n Wild collection. I absolutely love everything in the collection. Um, but in this video, I'm going to be doing two separate makeup looks. I'm going to be doing this cute and sweet My Melody girly makeup look that I have on right now. In the second half of the video, I'm going to be transforming myself into like a goth e-girl um, and doing a darker Karomi makeup look. This collection is reasonably priced because it is a Wet n Wild collection, so it's accessible to all, um, and it's their collaboration with Sanrio, which I absolutely love. I'm such a My Melody fan, so when I saw this collection, I knew I had to have it, and I'm very thankful for the Wet and Wild team for sending this over to me. Um, any of the makeup products that are still available, I will be linking them down below. Everything's super affordable and also cruelty free, which is definitely a big thing for me on my channel because I am vegan and I try to use almost exclusively cruelty free makeup. Stay tuned to the end of the video because I am going to be giving away a My Melody palette. The face palettes, and the really cute collector's makeup pouch. I hope you enjoy, and let's get started. We are starting off this video by doing the My Melody Girly Soft Girl Pink Makeup Look. Right here, I have this really cute brush that is part of the collection. I used to have these like little wands um, filled with the glitter as a kid and I used to love playing with them So I love how they added that element into this makeup brush So we have one side for your blush or bronzer and then we have another side for your highlight And then there's another brush that you'll see me using later on for the eyes and now on to the face palette So this is the first piece of makeup that I'm trying from the collection um, This is the my melody Karomi wet n wild blush lighter palette that's what they're calling it and so we have four shades we have two highlight shades and two blush shades so we are going to be using the top two shades for the my melody makeup look and the bottom two shades for the karomi makeup look so this i would say berry pink blush right here is called call me nice so i'm just gonna take my brush and dip it into the blush right there um, you're gonna have to tap off the excess because it is very, very pigmented. So already, it's definitely a really good pigmentation, especially for Wet n Wild, which is a drugstore brand. Um, I really like this shade. It's kind of perfect for like summer going into fall because it's not too dark and it's not too light, but it is very pigmented, so you don't need a heavy hand with this. I think this blush shade is just adorable. I love it. It's like the perfect girly blush shade. And I like to focus my blush on the apples of my cheeks and then just blend it a little bit up. Not too much, because you don't want to go overboard. Okay, so this is my blush. What do you guys think? Also, the makeup from this collection, it smells like a mix of berries and vanilla, so I think that's really cool that they added a perfume in there. I really like this blush so far. It was very pigmented. I didn't have any issues with it. Now, moving on to highlight. There's two different highlight shades. The one I'm going to be using for this makeup look is called Honey Bunny, and this is a really pretty, I would say, rosy pink highlight shade. This is very shimmery already, I can tell. It's so pretty. It's not too shocking either. It's really nice and blendable. Um, but I would say on the skin, it's coming up more of a gold shift than a pink than it looks in the pan. But it is still really pretty and has that rosy tint as well. But I'm also putting the highlight shade on the tip of my nose because I just love a little bit of a highlight on your nose. I think it looks so adorable. I would definitely highly recommend the face palette from this collection. I think it's super, super cute. I just love how my skin looks so far. Now I'm going to move on to my eyeshadow. 
And first I'm going to be starting off by using this really cute um, brush that's the second brush in the collection. I do think it's a really cute and smart idea to do the double-sided brush. I'm going to be priming my eyelids and I'm using my Carity Pre-Shadow Primer. And this is a very important step, especially when using drugstore eyeshadows because drugstore eyeshadows tend to have more fallout, they tend to be less pigmented. So you really want to put down a nice base before you try out really any eyeshadow, but especially especially the drugstore ones. So after I put that on, I'm just blending it in with my fingers. So now that my eyeshadow primer is on, we're gonna take a look at this adorable palette. I think this was probably the thing that I was most excited to try out of this entire collection. We have my Melody on the front of the package. It's all pink packaging. It has some mattes in it. It has some shimmers. It has lots of pink and warm tones. I think this is super cute and very versatile and it also has little hearts pressed into some of the pigments. What I'm going to do first is take this really nice like light brown shade called Adorbs and I'm going to put this in the crease of my eyelid just dipping in right now there's a lot of fallout so you're just gonna want to tap your brush before you put it on your eyes so on the eye this neutral brown comes off more pinky um, I think that's really pretty because I am going to go for more of a pink look because I would say go big or go home with my melody makeup so yeah, I really like it. This is definitely a nice transition shade. It's coming up not crazy crazy pigmented, but just enough. It's definitely more of a pinky brown color, but it's really nice in the crease um, and a good place to start for this makeup look. So the hot pink is called Pretty in Pink and this is a really nice hot pink matte shade. It has the really pretty heart in the middle. Right away, this is very, very pigmented. So this shade I'm even more impressed with than the previous one. This is really, really nice. Wow. So yeah, blending that on the outer half of my eye and into the crease a little bit. Okay, now that I'm done packing that onto my eyes, I'm gonna take the fluffy portion of my brush and I'm gonna kind of blend that a little bit so it's not as harsh. That looks so nice. Now I'm going to go right into the shade that is right next to Pretty in Pink, Kawaii, and it's kind of a little bit lighter of a pink, so if you're not brave enough, for the hot pink, you can dip into that. So far, I've only tried the mattes in this palette and they're holding up pretty nicely. Mattes are also like the harder shadow, I would say, um, in getting the formulation right, especially with the drugstore brand. So for the price, this is definitely worth it, I would say. Um, especially if you're like obsessed with like girly pink colors and Sanrio, um, this palette's kind of a dream. Okay, now that my eyes are covered in pink eyeshadow, we're gonna lighten the look up a little bit. This is the really pretty, um, like silvery gold sparkly shade called Shimmy Shimmy. So I'm gonna use the flat side of this brush and putting this on the inner corners of my eyelid first. That looks just just so cute, so amazing. This is probably the shade in the palette that I was the most excited to try. It is called My Sweet Piano, um, and it's this really light pink sparkly shade. And I'm gonna put this on the center of my eyelids for a little bit of glamour. I would definitely say their glitters are just glittery. You definitely should wet your makeup brush before you use them. Okay, 
Okay, so I just went ahead and put some lashes and mascara and eyeliner on to complete this eyeshadow look. And I just think this is super, super cute. Um, definitely one of my favorite eyeshadow looks I've done recently. I just feel so girly and sweet and cute. I love all the pink. Um, these shadows definitely held up for me. And also, if you guys were wondering, my lashes that I'm wearing right now, they are Piper by Carity. They're cruelty-free and vegan. Um, and then I paired that with their new bold mood mascara and then I use the Carity automatic liner right inside um, my lash line just to darken it up and to make the lashes look a little bit thicker so to finish off the look we have this my melody gloss in the shade oh my oh my is definitely right this is super super sparkly super glittery um, it's kind of like a rose gold lip gloss shade. I also absolutely love the packaging. It has my melody on it, has a little bit of pink, and then you can see the lip gloss. So there is also the My Melody Matte Liquid Lipstick in this collection in Sweetie Pie, but I'm just gonna go for this really nice gloss on its own today with a little bit of lip liner. Um, you'll see me test out the matte formula when I do my Karomi makeup look because I'm going to be using the Karomi um, matte liquid lipstick in goth girl for that makeup look. And now to start on my lips, I'm going to be overlining my lips with the Charlotte Tillsbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk. I've been using this for years. Um, I just thought a nice lip liner would look good right underneath the gloss. And this is a nice like pinky nude liner. So obviously you can use your favorite pinky nude liner or even like a nice lipstick underneath the gloss too. We're going to go in with this glitter gloss. Okay. So it's definitely very thick just taking out a bottle. It has the same kind of scent that the shadows do, like a very vanilla, which I definitely like. Oh, it's so pretty. It's super shiny. It's definitely not sticky at all, which is really nice. Um, especially for a cheaper lip gloss too. Oh, I just think this is just so pretty. This is definitely worth it too. All these products I've just loved so far. So to finish off my makeup look, I'm just gonna spray my face in place. So this is the completed My Melody makeup look. I think I did a really good job. It's very cute, soft, sweet. Um, it really captures the essence of My Melody. Very girly. You can do so many more things with this makeup. Um, this is just the look that I was drawn to that I created. Comment down below if My Melody is your favorite look. Um, and stay tuned to the second half of the video to see the Karomi makeup look. So welcome to the second half of the video, the Karomi goth girl, e-girl makeup tutorial. Um, this is going to be a complete transformation for me because I rarely, rarely ever do dark eyeshadow and dark lip looks. I'm going to dip into the My Melody and Karomi face palette, um, but I'm going to be using the bottom half of this palette. So the bottom half, we have this nice dark berry blush. I think this is a really nice shade for darker skin tones. Also, maybe for the winter to just give like a nice berry look to your face. And then the highlight is a little bit of a darker highlight too. Kind of has like a berry pink shift to it. Starting off with the blush, it has a skull pressed into it. So I think that's super cute. And the blush is called Don't Call Me Naughty. So right away, the shade I would say is kind of too dark for me because I'm just so pale. But I'm just gonna apply it very lightly to my face. I'm not even using that much. I really just dipped my brush in once. So I'm just working that on the apples of my cheeks and then blending it up a little bit and putting it on my nose. So it does look really cute. Um, I would say definitely this would be better for darker skin tones, but anybody could really wear it. The highlight for the Karomi side is called Friendly Rivals. 
again their highlights are also very pigmented too so I'm going to be putting this right on my cheekbones oh it's so pretty this is more of like an icy pink the other one was like a golden pink so I think this palette really has something for everyone. So now moving on to my eyes, I'm going to first prime my eyelids um, and then we can get started using this palette. So this eyeshadow palette definitely has a nice range of colors. Um, we have a lot of purples in the middle, we have some golds, we have your dark browns, and we have a black. You get a really nice range of shadows here. I think I'm going to start by dipping into this really deep purple shade right here, and I'm going to put that all over my lid. Um, I'm going to be going for like a darker purple look today. I'm going to be dipping into this color right here called... Dear Diary. So I'm dipping into Dear Diary right now, this really nice shimmering purple. And I'm gonna pack this all over my lid. Right away, super, super pigmented. It's, it literally is just purple. It just screams purple to me. Also darker shadows I tend to have a little bit more issues with. They kind of scare me a little bit. But you know what? Today, we're trying our best. It's very blendable. It's blending in nicely to my eyes. I'm gonna do that darker purple shade right up here, Secretly Girly. This color I'm gonna dip into and I'm gonna put in the crease of my eye. That's really pretty. It's like a darker version of Dear Diary. So the black shadow in this palette is called Hollow's Eve, and we're gonna work it into the outer corners of my eyes just to smoke out the look a little bit. Oh, okay. It's not too scary, we're doing well. I'm using the flat end of my brush too. And I'm just kind of packing it in there. Oh, that looks so pretty. I'm happy about this. What I'm going to do is take this really pretty like bronzy, purple, almost reddish color, Daredevil, and I'm going to put that in the center of my eyelid. Wow, I don't think I'm doing that bad. I mean, you guys can comment down below how you think I did like almost first time using like very, very dark makeup, but I don't think I'm doing that bad. The last shadow I'm going to be trying out from this palette is Pretty in Pink, and that's our glittery purple color, and I'm going to put that on the inner corner of my eye. So I'm actually going to be using a different brush because mine is just so dark right now, um, and I'm going to be spraying it, and then I'm going to pack on our sparkly purple, Pretty in Pink. Oh my god, it's so cute. You don't want to go overboard on the sparkles either. Just kind of bring it up only a little bit into the eyeshadow. So this is the completed eyeshadow look for the Karomi palette. I'm gonna go ahead and add eyeliner and mascara and lashes to complete my eyes and I'll be right back after I do that to show you the finished look. I did some really nice liquid liner, just a thin liner because the eye makeup is so intense but I think it really pulled the entire look together. I used the Carity liquid liner for that. I also tight lined the top and the bottom of my eyes uh, with the Carity automatic liner. I usually don't 
tight line the bottom of my eyes but I feel like because this look is so intense it really pulled everything together and then for the lashes I'm using the same lashes that I did in the my melody look so I'm using the carroty lashes in Piper and I blended that all together with the carroty bold mood mascara so this eye look is really intense but I'm kind of liking it I think it's really cute I think if you're used to wearing dark makeup I feel like this look is perfect for you um, but if you want to try something out I I would definitely wear this makeup look for Halloween. Like this is just something that screams like witch to me. So I think this is gonna be the most shocking portion of the video. I'm going to be using the Karomi Wet n Wild Liquid Lipstick. I actually already tried it on when I first got it. And I do wanna say with the packaging, if you expose this cute little skull part to um, any makeup remover, it's gonna rub right off. So just be careful with this because I know I clean a lot of my packaging with the Neutrogena Makeup Wipes. So if you don't want the packaging to kind of rub off, just stay away from the makeup wipes with this one. This is in the shade Goth Girl, and I'm going to be transforming myself into a goth girl with this liquid lipstick. Also, I really like this applicator. Um, I think this is perfect for really lining your lips perfectly, especially with a liquid lipstick. I really like this. I think it's just as good as a higher end one, um, especially for the price. I would definitely check out the other shades that Wet n Wild makes if they do make other liquid lipsticks. I haven't really researched it yet, um, but this is really comfortable. It's drying down pretty smooth, and I, as you can see, I only needed really one coat to cover my entire lips, and that's really nice, especially for um, a darker lip shade. You don't want it to be streaky, and this held up really well. This is the completed Karomi goth girl e-girl makeup look i think this is crazy seeing myself like this because i've never done such a dark lip with a dark eye it's a really cool comparison to see the my melody versus the karomi makeup look i'm definitely a my melody girl but it was fun to play karomi for a day so in this giveaway i'm going to be giving away the my melody karomi makeup pouch we have on one side my melody and she says stay sweet and on the other side we have karomi and she says make trouble so this this is really adorable it's perfect for storing all your makeup and it actually has two zippers it has a skull and it has a heart I'm going to be giving away a my melody palette and a face palette these are all sealed I haven't used them yet I bought new ones and to enter in this giveaway you have to first be subscribed to my youtube channel give this video a thumbs up follow me on instagram my instagram is at beauty by chloe and then I want you to comment down below saying if you are team my melody or team Karomi um, and then also leave your Instagram handle in that comment because I will be contacting the winner through Instagram DM in exactly two weeks I'm going to be choosing somebody at random but I do want to say this is a US giveaway only I hope you guys are excited to be able to win some of the items from the collection and with that said I hope you all have an amazing day and I'll see you guys in my next video Bye!